Okay. Well, I want to um, welcome you to the Eureka 2020 Virtual Reality Award Ceremony. <laughs> so glad that you were able to join us tonight for our 24th Eureka Award Ceremony. Um, this has been a very unique year and we are very excited that we've been able to continue um, with hosting Eureka even in this new virtual format. Uh, we appreciate you being here and I know that you're very excited to hear uh, who all the winners are for this year's Eureka. Thank you again for your patience and thank you to all of the, well, to all of you students who took the time to upload your, um, all of your posters and everything in short order to make this happen. I also would like to say thank you to all of our faculty representatives from each college who worked tirelessly to also help this, uh, help Eureka happen this year, uh, scheduling appointments and recruiting judges to listen to you through their Zoom calls. Uh, we really appreciate them and thank them as well. Let's see. Um, Okay, so there are, we've thanked many of the people. I also want to thank all the faculty mentors who have worked with you uh, throughout the year to, to help you on your undergraduate research. They are the highlight of Eureka along with your work. Um, we appreciate all the time that they put in to working with you in your, in your research. Uh, I would like to, let's see. I'd also like to thank Dr. Mwazin for all of her support. Um, in undergraduate research and for helping us to get this online. Uh, we hope that next year you'll be still be at UT and be able to participate in hopefully a live version next year. For those of you presenting your final projects, you've already learned that research can be life changing for both you and those who will benefit from your research. I hope that you leave UT knowing that your research has had an impact on all of those involved. If practical, I hope you will consider taking it a step further and publish your research. Sharing research through publication adds to the body of knowledge, helps establish you as an expert in your field, can affect policy change, advance your career, and give you a sense of joy. It also helps if you're thinking about pursuing a graduate degree. For those of you just starting, I encourage you to open up to your research. Give your, give your time and effort towards it. Involvement in research leads to better understanding of traditional coursework. It can build your confidence as you, mental, you are mentally stretched and then see your project come to completion. Take the time to build a relationship with your faculty mentor. They have chosen a profession that allows them to share their knowledge with the next generation. Take advantage of this. They will also be an excellent resource in building your professional network after school. Well, I know that uh, why you're all here, and that's to hear the awards. So we will just move right along to that. I am just, I am sorry that we don't get to have a music performance like we usually do. Uh, but given these circumstances, everything's just a little bit different. I would first like to introduce uh, Miss Emily Mitchell, Mrs. Emily Mitchell from the um, Office of Undergraduate Research to introduce our first award, which is actually not a part of Eureka, but it is an, uh, an award for a video, the three minutes to win it video challenge. So I'm gonna turn it over to Emily to announce our winners. Great, thanks Susan. Um, I'm Emily Mitchell, I'm a program coordinator uh, in the Office of Undergraduate Research and I'm gonna announce the winners for our three minutes to win it research challenge. Um, the three minutes to win it research challenge for those of you that don't know is a video competition where undergraduates submit a two to three minute creative video about their research uh, and compete for prizes. Um, so there are two ways to win this competition. Um, the first way is called the judges first place and that person will win $300 tonight. Um, so judges first place is determined by a panel of expert judges. Uh, which was comprised of directors of undergraduate research offices from universities across the country. Um, these judges select the first place winner based on three criteria. So those criteria are overall research quality of the project, effective communication by the presenter, and overall creativity. Um, and then the second way to win, so we'll have two winners tonight, the second way is uh, called the fan favorite. 
and this person will win an iPad mini. So all videos were posted online and opened up for a campus-wide vote. Any faculty, student, or staff from UT Knoxville could submit a vote for their favorite video. And the most voted video will win the title of fan favorite. So if you'd like to view these um, research videos, you can go to our website at ugresearch.utk.edu slash three, the number three, minutes to win it submissions. Um, you'll see all of our submissions there. All right, so let's get to the fun part, announcing the winners. So we've got two winners. I'll announce the judges first place first and the winner of $300. So the winning video is titled DNA Methylation by Peyton Hickman and he worked in Dr. Bruce McKee's lab. So congratulations, Peyton, well done. And then the winner of the fan favorite, so the most voted um, on the campus-wide vote and the winner of an iPad mini is titled Cooper Lab by Neha Sagarad and Dr. in Dr. Matthew Cooper's lab. So congratulations, guys, way to go. All right, Susan, I'll throw it back to you. Thank you, Emily. Uh, we congratulate you two on those great videos. And we hope that next year, um, the rest of you will consider submitting a video for that video competition. It's, you can do it on your phone. Uh, there's a lot of neat ways that you can do it and it's, it's really fun. You can add to our undergraduate research YouTube playlist. So we're excited about that. Now we're gonna move on to the Eureka Awards for 2020. And we will begin with the College of Architecture and Design and the Awards in Architecture. Uh, TK Davis, if he is on here, he's going to present those. Okay, so I guess he's not going to present those today. So I guess I get to be the lucky one that gets an, to announce the winners. So I would first like to announce an award of merit to Jonathan Winfield for Architecture's Narratives. Faculty mentor, Jennifer Ackerman. Award of Merit goes to Alexandra Reese. Airspace Infrastructure of the Unseen, Jennifer Ackerman, faculty mentor. Award of Merit goes to Delaney Powell, The, vehicle, the Vesicle City, a prognosis of the, un, of the urbanized infection, Brian Ambrosiak, faculty mentor. Third place, goes to Zachary Orig, Mapping Food and Infrastructure in Early Medieval Rome, a Critical Analysis of the Fourth Century Forum Boarium. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not reading natural sciences right now. <laughs> Gregor Callis, faculty mentor. Second place goes to Joanna Martin, Grace Schaffner, and Annabelle Greenberg for Beacon Eco Village. Catherine Ambrosiak, faculty mentor. And our first place winner in the College of Architecture and Design for Architecture is Alice Irizari, Elizabeth Ford, and Emily Lavol, Designing for Intentional Communal Residence in Rural Haiti. Catherine Ambrosiak, faculty mentor. Congratulations to all the winners from the College of Architecture and Design in architecture. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Sarah Lowe to, inter to read our winners in the College of Architecture and Design for the School of Graphic Design. All right, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, just making sure. All right, so I am very honored to, to provide the winning names for the first time the School of Design has entered the Eureka competition. So I'm gonna begin with Award of Merits. Award of Merit, the students are Braxton Palmer, Taylor Bogle, and John Saunders. Project title, Teaching Language Through Game Design, Carrie Staples, Faculty Mentor. Award of Merit, Amari Anderson. Butterfly Garden, Nostalgic Wonderland, Carrie Staples, Faculty Mentor. 
Award of Merit, Jared Robson, Making a Pizza, Carrie Staples, Faculty Mentor. Award of Merit, Madeline Walker, Borderline Butterfly Garden, Carrie Staples, Faculty Mentor. Award of Merit, Sierra Jones, South Knoxville Butterfly Garden Signage System, Carrie Staples, Faculty Mentor. Award of Merit, Elena Davis, Sipsy, Chris Cote, Faculty Mentor. Award of Merit, Justin Linton, Human Connections Through Borderland Tees Garden, Carrie Staples, Faculty Mentor. And our last award of merit goes to Joshua Main, Data Visualization and Wayfinding Signage, Carrie Staples, Faculty Mentor. Our third place award winner is John Saunders for Metamorphosis, a Butterfly Garden Experience. Carrie Staples, faculty mentor. Our second place award goes to Christina Salk, Taylor Bogle, Derek Kramer, Jonathan Woods, Project, the Social Butterfly Project, Carrie Staples, faculty mentor. And our first prize, first place goes to Elena Davis, Cole Field, Henry Bergen, and Mar Marielle Valenza for the project entitled Tinnitus Animated Video Project for UTHSC Audiology and Speech Pathology Department. Sarah Lowe, faculty mentor. Thank, <clears throat> thank you so much, Dr. Lowe. And congratulations to all of our winners in the School of Design. Now we're going to move on to one of our larger divisions, the College of Arts and Sciences. Introducing or announcing the awards for the College of Arts and Sciences in all divisions is Dean Teresa Lee. <laughs> no. Okay. Can Hello. You hear? Yes, Are we you can. <laughs> all right. So congratulations to all the students from Arts and Sciences that participated. Uh, it certainly wasn't easy to do it this year and I'm really happy that such a, that a, a number of students did wonderful projects. So we'll start with the Division of Humanities. Uh, the first award of excellence goes to Katherine Copeland for Gender Differences in Uptalk in the College Classroom. Faculty mentor, Jessica Greaser. The next is Award of Excellence to Hannah Nelson, Trends in Perjuration of Female-Related Terms of Abuse in English. The faculty mentor is Maria Gallmeyer. An Award of Excellence to Cora Lay for the Capacity for Destruction, 20th Century German Literature and the Bomb. Faculty mentor, Stephanie Onis Onisord. Now we move on to the Division of Natural Sciences. The Award of Excellence for Adam Bryant, Survival Probabilities on Branching Tissues, Faculty Mentor, Maxim Lavrentovich. Award of Excellence to Andrea Ramirez for Human Cytomegalovirus UL146 VCXCL1s Act as Virulence Factors, Enhancing Spread and Viral Burden in a Mouse Model. Faculty Mentor, Timothy Sparer. Award of Excellence to Brett Emery, Matthew Everett, Bailey Bohannon, Sarah Ann Bowyer, Bowyer. Investigating the cortical expression of perineuronal nets in male mouse model of the CDKL5 disorder in hemisphere and subregion specific manner. Faculty mentor is Kirthi Krishnan. Award of Excellence to Kellum Creighton for the 19F NMR as a tool for identifying potential inhibitors of the antibiotic resistant enzyme R67 dihydrofolate reductase. Mentor is Gladys Alexander. Award of excellence to David Skinner for touch perception in an adult female mouse for Rett syndrome. The faculty mentor is Kirthi Krishnan. Award of excellence to Golsa Onar 
examining the impact of gonadal steroid hormones on perineuronal net development in the medial amygdala. The faculty mentor is Kaylin Schultz. Award of Excellence to Jackson Turner. Insect herbivore community diversity differs among wildflower species and changes over time. Faculty mentor, Stephanie Kivlin. Award of Excellence to Katerina Meissen. Optimizing cryopreservation methodology for diverse cyanobacteria. Faculty mentor, Barry Bruce. Award of Excellence for Kaylee Richard. Purification of the receptor region of an outer membrane protein from Campylobacter jejuni. Faculty mentor, Jeremiah Johnson. Award of Excellence to Levi Gifford. Chloroplast to nucleus retrograde signaling altering plasmodesmata structure and function. Faculty mentor, Tessa Birch Smith. Award of Excellence to Matthew Jenkins and Sydney Wyatt for understanding the role of perineuronal nets experience dependent neuroplasticity. Faculty mentor, Matthew Cooper. Award of Excellence to Morgan Lane. Influence of red and blue wavelengths on the pupil light reflex. Faculty mentor, Ben Allen. Award of Excellence to Neha Segarod. Uh, by the way, she's the one that got one of the um, video awards. Investigating cellular mechanisms of coping responses and dominance status. Faculty mentor, Matthew Cooper. Award of Excellence, Sydney Toller, Derek Wenger, and Elijah Henley. A neuroimaging meta-analysis of the autonomic brain. Faculty mentor, Ben Allen. Award of Excellence, Thomas Clarity, Roland Rodriguez, and Matthew Jenkins for minocycline reduces acute social defeat-induced neuroinflammation and neurodegeneration in the hamster ventromedial PFC. Faculty mentor, Matthew Cooper. We now move on to the Division of Social Sciences. Award of Excellence to Alexander Tripp. No strings attached, FDI, ideology, and levels of democracy in Latin America. Faculty mentor, Jana Morgan. Award of Excellence Austin, for Austin Shell and Hannah Hunter for clinical versus subclinical anxiety levels in adults. Are there meaningful differences? Faculty mentor, Christy Allen. Award of Excellence for Christian Statton, Timothy Smith, and Nicholas Coles. Credit where credit is due, an examination of the reliability of crediting behavior in science. Faculty mentor, Jeff Larson. Award of Excellence to Courtney Wombles, Medical Illustrations as a Tool for Increasing Health Literacy. Faculty Mentor, Bouvet Lyons. Award of Excellence for Emily Alfaris, Jessica Brock, Cody Palmer, Phoebe, Fiva Clardy, Taylor Merman, Alexa Nouvelle, Aaron Crittenden, Jackson Ratcliffe, and Darren Garcia for nonverbal synchrony and commitment in romantic dyads. Faculty mentor, Christina Gordon. Award of Excellence for Kelly Veltry and Jazdeep Bath. Do toddlers learn words from other toddlers? Faculty mentor, Jessica Hay. Award of Excellence to Maya Bian. The Commodification of Care, a case study in a private long-term care facility in Northeastern China. Faculty mentor, John Scheffner. Award of Excellence to Summer Shore and Rachel Hickman. Preterm birth among opiate using women and high risk controls. The potential moderating role of borderline features. Faculty mentor, Jenny McPhee. Award of Excellence to Samantha Gregorish. Examining impacts of cultural competency curriculum among study abroad students. Faculty mentor, Aaron Darby. And last, but certainly not least, from the School of Music. In second place, Elise Campbell, Red Ro for her project, Red Rocks Music Festival, Winter Chamber Institute. And faculty mentor is Wesley Baldwin. In first place, Caleb Cannon, the, for his project, The Summoning, an original composition for four bass trombones. 
faculty mentor, Brendan McConville. Thank you, Dean Lee, and congratulations to all the winners from the College of Arts and Sciences. Next, we will have the awards announced for the College of Communication and Information, and announcing these awards will be um, Susie Allard from the College of Communication and Information. So I am the Associate Dean of Research, and I'm really delighted with the work that our students have done. I have only two awards to announce, so it's nice and short. Um, second place is Carrie Ad Atkins with the Way Siblings Communicate About a Parent's Cancer with Laura Miller, faculty mentor. And our first place goes to Max Ray Davenport for his research entitled, Hurt Will Follow, Young Adult Children's Communicative and Behavioral Responses to Hurtful Messages from Parents. And the faculty mentor is Jenny Crawley. Thank you and congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Next, we have the awards for the College of Education, Health, and Human Sciences, presented by Dr. Holly Rayner. Sorry, I apologize for those uh, uh, connection issues. Um, I want to uh, congratulate uh, the winners from the College of Education, Health and Human Sciences. We have uh, three uh, um, awards that we are handing out. Um, the first is for third place. Uh, the students are Kayla Lawton and Lucia Reyes. Um, the project title is um, Effects of Opioid Using Mothers Adverse Childhood Experiences, ACEs, on Infants' Regulatory Behavior at Four Months of Age. Um, and uh, the faculty mentor is Yulia uh, Yakel. And then we have a, a tie uh, for uh, first place. So we have two first place awards. Um, sorry, I'm trying to, I, could somebody advance the, the, the slide? Thank you. Um, so uh, our first, for, uh, first place winner is Ashlyn Anderson and the title of her project is Suggested and Practice Interventions addressing college student food insecurity across a socio-ecological model, a literature review. And um, her faculty men mentor is Christina Barroso. And then our next group of students are Jared Smith, Amber Gentry, Anna Dartry, Olivia Riffey, Jacob Beard, Brandy Baker, Danielle Lee, and the title of their presentation was Genetic Ablation and pharmacological inhibition of soluble epoxide hydrolase in the beta cells enhanced glucose stimulated insulin secretion um, and their faculty mentor was Ahmed Bedier. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Now to announce the awards for the College of Nursing is Dr. Kathleen Thompson. Is somebody supposed to get me on the screen? Well, I can go ahead and announce them without my picture up there. 
Um, the College of Nursing has three, ca oh, there I am, uh, three categories of awards, and, and uh, we have uh, awards of excellence in each of these th three categories. The first category is quality improvement projects. These are projects that students have worked in an academic service learning setting over the last two sem or four semesters of their nursing curriculum. They identify a, a area that they can assist the community partner improve. They do the implementation and evaluate it. So we have seven of those awards of excellence. The first one is um, by Katherine Nicholson and Madison Miller examining the effects of hand washing education program on students ability to comprehend the importance of hand washing and their ability to wash their hands in accordance with CDC guidelines and their faculty mentor is Dr. Mary Lynn Brown. Uh, the second is by Alyssa Madden uh, preschool hand hygiene and their mentor is Dr. Kim Brown. You can see some of the relevance given our current situation. Uh, the third is Elizabeth Durfee, increasing awareness of dream connection using social media and education. The faculty mentor is uh, Miss Amanda Par uh, Harper. The third, fourth now, Theone Rizan and Jessica Nigayan, nutrition, education, and high-risk school-age children. And their mentor is Dr. Mar uh, Marcia Spurgeon. Then Emily Weiss did a project assessing the impact of guided imagery and meditation on stress levels of those diagnosed with dementia, and Miss Libby Burns mentored them with that project. The next is Kelsey Lamb. She did a project looking at the effects of a nutritional program on school-aged girls um, with me as her mentor. And the last in the quality improvement projects is was a project done by Mallory McNeil, Hannah Ratterman, Kayla Hindle, looking at substance abuse education in the homeless population, and Dr. Sandy Mixer was their mentor. The second category are awards of excellence in the evidence-based practice area, and this is where students use evidence to help guide developing new protocol and practices within nursing. The first one um, is a group, Isabel Garcia, Caroline Harwood, Sierra Widener, and Emily Pooler. They looked at the relationship between music therapy and agitation levels among Alzheimer's disease patients. Dr. Kanar Sagarin is their advisor. Um, the next one is, could you put it, because I want to see, uh, Kayla Hindle, I'm going to skip this one. She was actually a research one, and I'm going to read this one at the end. Um, the award of the next one is by Brianna Hunt, Piper Carveth, Amanda Cummings, Amanda Ellis, and they looked at the effect of multimodal sensory stimulation on enhanced recovery for hospitalized patients with brain injury. And Dr. Susan McClellan was their mentor. The next was Margaret Zerfross, Ashley McMean. Emily Boone and Maeve Mulligan, and they looked at same day, same day ambulation and deep vein thrombosis in post-operative orthopedic patients. And Dr. Kanar Sagarin, Sagarin was their advi uh, mentor. And the next is Olivia Hoyt, Catherine Bossung, Madison Bixler, Melissa Haskins, and they looked at the effect of yoga as an adjunct therapy for depressive disorders, and Dr. Laura Beebe was their mentor. And the last in this category was Vanessa Trefelvin, Rebecca Gunter, Devin Wilmarth, and Mariah Sims. They looked at the effects of aromatherapy on sleep quality in cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy, and Dr. Kanar Sagarin was their advisor. And the last category are awards of excellence for research, and these are for independent research studies. The first one is Morgan Graham. She examined the effect of provider training on HPV vaccination rates in rural East Tennessee, and her mentor was Dr. Erin Morgan. The next was Alexander Taskett, and she looked at the effects of cuddling and music therapy on symptoms of neonatal absence syndrome. Dr. Jennifer Tourville was their mentor. The next was Ariana Lee, 
uh, school asthma needs, comparisons of supplemental sources and ambassador visits, and Dr. Tammy Wyatt and myself were her mentors. And last um, was Kayla Hindell, attitudes and beliefs of nursing students towards patients with eating disorders. Her mentors were Dr. Joel Anderson and myself. Um, they all did an excellent job, and um, I'm glad that the that we were able to share their work with the broader um, university um, population. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. And moving on to the College of Social Work, Dr. Bill Nugent will announce those awards. Uh, good evening, everybody. Let me pull up my screen here with the awards. Okay, so we have five awards here. Uh, we start out with an award of merit to Elizabeth Gonda. Project title was Depression and the Latino Community. Faculty mentor was Bill Nugent. Second award of merit is Karen Beasley for a study entitled A Study of the Tennessee Together Act. Is it helping our levels of uh, NAS? Uh, faculty mentor was Bill Nugent. Third place, uh, Megan Donahue for a study titled, Is Truancy Higher with Kids Who Are Homeless Versus Kids Who Live in Stable Housing? Faculty mentor was Bill Nugent. Second place went to Rachel Sitton for a study titled, The Relationship Between Number of F Codes, which are mental health diagnoses, and number of crises. Faculty mentor was Bill Nugent. And our first place winner goes to Shelby Delisle for a study titled, The Relationship Between Health Insurance, Clinic Visits, and Clinic Income. And the faculty mentor uh, was Bill Nugent. Congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you, Bill. And moving on to the Haslam College of Business, we have George Drennan to announce those awards. The Haslam College of Business is, is proud to recognize all the students that have in Eureka. Uh, we would especially like to recognize the third place winner, Sabrina Churchley, with her project, Traveling Patients, Determinants of Patient Travel for Healthcare Services, faculty mentor, Dr. Bogdan Bisescu. Second place recipient, Brenna Logan, Celebrities on social media and their effect on shareholder wealth. Faculty mentor, Dr. Laura Cole. And the first place recipient, Caroline Jones. Scope three greenhouse gas emissions. Whose problem is it? Faculty mentor, Wendy Tate. Congratulations and thank everyone for their hard work. Thank you. And moving on to the Herbert College of Agriculture, I would like to introduce Brent Lehmans. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, the Herbert College of Agriculture would like to uh, express how, how proud we are of our students that participated this year, all of the hard work that both faculty mentors and students put in. There were excellent posters and excellent research going on and um, very proud of everyone. The Herbert College of Agriculture has three category of award, first, uh, second, and third place. Um, I will start by announcing the third place winner, um, and that is Karsten Parker, Jeffrey Rice. Um, the project title is Electrochemical Detection of Serum Antibodies for On-Site Diagnosis of John's Disease. Faculty mentor is um, uh, Shigatoshi Ida, and that's third place, congratulations. Um, second place, Award goes to Victoria Beard. Um, the title of the project is Changes in Antibiotic Resistance in Soil Microbes During Human Decomposition. Um, the faculty mentor for that is uh, Jennifer Mary uh, De, Bruin. De Bruin, I'm sorry. Um, and the first place winner goes to Bryce Troll. Um, the project title is um, Agrobacterium Mediated Transformation and the Development of a High through, throughput screening protocol for glyphosate resistance and Kanza canadensis. Um, and the, uh, the faculty mentor for their first place project is Cristiano Pasiki. 
Congratulations. Thank you so much. And we will move on to the last of our college awards with the Tickle College of Engineering. I'd like to introduce uh, Associate Dean Oslam Khalik to announce these awards. Thank you, Susan. I'm delighted to be here on behalf of College of Engineering to be announcing these awards. So we have two categories in engineering. I'll first start with research category and then I'll follow it with design category. For research awards, the award of merit goes to Jackson Wilt, rotating nozzle for additive manufacturing fiber composites and faculty member, Brett Compton. Award of Merit goes to Jacob Reynolds, mechanical feedback in the active search for antigens by T cells, faculty mentor, Stephen Abel. Award of Merit goes to Sarah Warner, mechanical testing of tungsten steel laminate composites for use in fusion applications, faculty mentor, Chris Wetland. Now, I've studied for this announcement of the project title. Award of Merit goes to Thomas Davis, potassium 40 background suppression in potassium strontium iodide with EU2 plus doping. I hope I got it right. Uh, faculty mentor Eric Lucosi. Uh, the third place goes to Ryan Held, Rakesh Kamat, and Logan White. Effects of processing parameters on successive melt pool development in laser fusion processing of titanium 6AI4V alloys and in situ dynamic synchrotron radio radiography study, uh, faculty mentor Han Chu. Second place goes to Michael Buckley, finite element analysis of laser cut tubular robots for surgical applications faculty mentor Daniel Caleb Rucker. And first place goes to Kate Eichel, fine tuning mechanisms of crystal growth for large scale application, faculty mentor Bin Hu. Moving on to design awards, we have a second place goes to Logan Ashworth, rapid autonomous corn phenotyping data acquisition system, faculty mentor Han Gao. And finally, first place goes to Caitlin Nelms and Mary Morris, poultry farm security gate, autonomous vehicle recognition system with faculty mentor, Sean Hankins. Congratulations, engineering. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, and next to announce our um, Office of Undergraduate Research Awards is Dr. Mwazin. Thank you, Susan. And I just want to take a minute before I get started and thank Susan and the entire Eureka Committee, um, as well as our faculty mentors and, and even our students, because without you all, none of this would be possible. Um, and so we're so happy that you're with us tonight. We're so happy that um, you were able to continue your research and, and be able to work on that. So congratulations. Um, for those of you that are graduating this, year, this semester, congratulations to you all. I'm sure you all are, are very excited. I know this is probably not how you wanted to end your um, semester and it's an unsettling time for some of you, but know that your college and your campus is here for you. And if there's anything you need, that, that's why we're here. And so to reach out and to your advisors and your college and let them know, and as, as you enter this job market, just know that graduate school is always an option for you still. Uh, you haven't missed too many deadlines. Um, so just talk to your advisors about that. Um, for those of you staying, um, we're excited you'll, we'll get to see you again in the fall. I know some of you had planned for summer research opportunities um, that may have fallen through, whether it be at Oak Ridge National Laboratory or at another lab, university, um, even in DC at National Endowment for the Arts or the Smithsonian. And, and a lot of those have fallen through. And so we're working on projects for you. Just know that our office is putting together a research from home campaign. And to help students find projects they can either do with a faculty mentor from home or that projects they can work on on their own and then connect back with our office.
office on a weekly basis um, to check in and, and learn some basics um, or just talk through research methodologies and dissecting journal articles. And, and we want to put, we're going to be putting on that program for you. And um, so if you want to do research this summer, if you want to continue, if you don't necessarily have those connections, um, just keep in touch with us and we'll let you know. So let's go ahead and get on to those awards. So the Office of Undergraduate Research offers campus level awards and um, that are um, in bronze, silver, and gold. And these awards recognize outstanding achievement for students um, who have um, excelled and that we want to recognize at that campus level. And so we'll have several in the bronze, several silvers, and several golds. And these awards come with additional cash prizes for the students. And we are very um, happy to recognize and honor the students in this way. And so first, and we have in our bronze categories is Matthew Jenkins and Sydney Wyatt for understanding the role of perineal nets, experience dependent neuroplasticity, Matthew Cooper mentor in the College of Arts and Sciences Division of Natural Sciences. Since the titles are on your screen, I will go through the names and the colleges and the faculty mentors only. And another bronze award, Max Ray Davenport, uh, faculty mentor, Jenny Crowley in the College of Communication and Information. Um, Ashlyn Anderson, a faculty mentor, Christina Barroso in the College of Education, Health and Human Sciences. The team of Jared Smith, Amber Gentry, Anna Darty, Olivia Riffey, Jacob Beard, Brady Baker, and Danielle Lee. Um, faculty mentor, Ahmed Bidabi in the College of Education, Health, and Human Sciences. Isabella Garcia, the team of Isabella Garcia, Carolyn Harwood, Sierra Widener, and Emily Pooler. Faculty mentor, Dr. Nar Sagarin in the College of Nursing. Bronze Award for Rachel Sitton. Faculty mentor, Bill Nugent in the College of Social Work. Next Bronze Award, Brianna Logan. Faculty mentor, Laura Cole in the Haslam College of Business. And the final Bronze Award is for Logan Ashworth. Faculty mentor, Han Go in the Tickle College of Engineering. So congratulations to all our Bronze Awards winners. So now we'll move on to our Civil Awards. Our Civil Awards winners start with the team of Brett Emery, Matthew Everett, Bailey Bohannon, and Sarah Ann Bauer, faculty mentor, Kirthi Krishnan in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Natural Sciences. Our next Civil Award goes to the team of Thomas Clarity, Roland Rodriguez, and Matthew Jenkins, faculty mentor, Matthew Cooper, in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Natural Sciences. Our next silver, Courtney Wombles, faculty mentor, Beauvais Lyons, in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Social Sciences. Next is the team of Summer Shore and Rachel Hickman, faculty mentor, Jenny McPhee, in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Social Sciences. Our next silver, Samantha Gregorish, faculty mentor, Aaron Darby, in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Social Sciences. Next silver to the team of Katherine Nicholson and Madison Miller. Faculty mentor, Dr. Mary Lynn Brown in the College of Nursing. Silver award for Emily Wise. Faculty mentor, Ms. Libby Burns in the College of Nursing. Our next silver, Shelby DeLilly. Faculty mentor, Bill Nugent in the College of Social Work. Our next silver to Victoria Beard. Uh, faculty mentor Jennifer DeBrun in the Herbert College of Agriculture. And our final silver to Michael Buckley, faculty mentor Daniel Rucker in the Tickle College of Engineering. I've just gotten a message that maybe my notes don't align with the screen. So if I read your name and maybe it's not on the screen, I'm still going to yes. honor that. So no worries. <laughs> All right. So we are going to go on to our next level of awards. Oh, two, which are gold awards. So our first gold award to Elena Davis, Cole Field, Henry Burgeon, and Marcella Valencia in the School of Design. Oh, College of Architecture School of Design. There we go. Our next gold award, Andrea Ramirez, faculty mentor Timothy Sparer in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Natural Sciences. Our next one for the team of Kelly Veltry and Justy Buff, faculty mentor Jessica Hay in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Social Sciences. 
Kayla Hindle, yes. faculty mentor, Dr. Joel Anderson, and Dr. Kathleen Thompson in the College of Nursing. Bryce Truel, faculty mentor, Cristiano Piaski in the Herbert College of Agriculture. Next, Kate Eckel, faculty mentor, Ben Hugh in the Tickle College of Engineering. Our next gold award and our fine, what, no, no, our next gold award to the team of Caitlin Nelms and Mary Morris, faculty mentor Sean Hawkins in the Tickle College of Engineering. Our next gold award goes to Jackson Turner, faculty mentor Stephanie Kilvin in the College of Arts and Sciences, Division of Natural Sciences. Next one to Carolyn Jones, faculty mentor Wendy Tate in the Haslam College of Business. And to our gold award to Katherine Copeland, faculty mentor Jessica Greaser in the College of Arts and Sciences Division of Humanities. So I want to take again, thank you all for participating. Thank you all for, for working so hard on these. We, we, it's our honor to be able to honor you all tonight. And we're sorry we don't get to do it in person, but, but thank you. Thank you so much for um, attending our award ceremony for this year. We appreciate all that you have done and we're glad we could recognize all of your undergraduate research. Um, this concludes our program for tonight. So congratulations to all of you.